This demonstration is going to show you the process of how to set up one of our sensors for motion. Let's use this diagram as the process for what we want to occur. See here we have three states. We have an on state and an off state and what we call a grace state. When we are in the on state we want the lights to be at 100% or preset 1. If the sensor doesn't detect motion for a period of time then we want the lights to dim. We'll call that the grace preset. The purpose of that? If I am in a room sitting still then I don't want the lights to go off to complete darkness. I want them to dim so that I have the chance to wave my hand to go back to preset 1. If while in the grace preset there was no motion detected because I had left the room however, the lights can then go to preset 4 which is no motion or an off state. So let's take a look at EP to see how this is configured. I have EP open here with my job from the previous video demonstrations open. I have two load controllers and two panels in my training case, but now I can connect a sensor to one of the ports in my case and I can search the network for the sensors. Let's do that and see what we find. OK, we've found our sensor. Let's add it to the job and I'll factory set it so it's in a nice clean state. To do that, I just right click on the device and select factory set. OK, like any device in EP, when I click on the left hand side here, the device properties get displayed in the right. I want to be on the motion detector tab. Let's have a quick look around the properties here. The first thing that I can click is this graph button to make the graph window appear and hide as needed. I can tick the select box here and then I will be able to see the motion graph in Envision Project. The sensor that I have connected here is a DUS804C which is a digital sensor. So the graph that I will expect to see will just pull up and down. Let's give it a few seconds so that we can see the graph in red. Notice the monitor window is busy while I am doing this, as it is detecting my waving hand in front of the sensor in the training case. I can untick that now and then hide the graph window if I like. I can set the logical area that I want this sensor to control the lights for. Let's make it the bathroom. Remembering I have decided that I want three states, I will now add my presets here so I can configure the actions. I will click this four times that I get my off state, which will be preset four. Now when I am in preset one and the sensor detects motion, I want to leave this as no motion. Reason being, if I am in preset one and the lights are on, I don't want the lights to turn back on. There is no point because they are already on. Okay, so I can leave that as no motion. When I am in preset one and it detects no motion, then I want to drop down my grace preset, which I will make preset three. Click on new preset and select preset three. Okay, we'll leave preset two as no action and use preset three as our grace. When I'm in preset three and the sensor sees motion, then we want it to go back to preset one. So I can click on new preset and leave that at preset one. Then on no motion in preset three, what do you think we want to do? We want to turn it off so we can select preset four. In preset four on motion, we want to go to preset one. And in preset four, no motion, we want nothing to happen. Okay, the timeouts. If you have used global ticked, then it will use the time specified above in the timing properties. If you untick it, you can specify a time for each action down here. You can select the delay periods from this drop down and select either action delay or resend inhibit period. Resend inhibit period is just what it says. It will inhibit messages going for the time specified. This is used to minimize traffic on the network detecting motion all of the time. Action delay is used, for example, when you have a manual off by pushing a button and you walk out of the area. You don't want the sensor to detect you and turn the lights back on from motion. Okay, we can save that to our device and let's see it in action.